What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Mike, AKA DJ Access for vlog number two here at the Columbus Greater Convention Center for the NCAA Women's Division II March Madness Tournament. We've worked with the NCAA before for the Division I men's out in Phoenix. And you guys know they work working for my Ohio State Buckeyes, but we're here today and I couldn't be more excited. In this vlog, I'm sharing with you my three tips for working with high profile corporate clients. But first, let me show you around. All right, guys, we're running out of time here, so I want to get started. Tip number one is always have a pre-meeting. And when you're doing events like this, you always want to talk to somebody. Typically, you'll have someone uh, who's your point of contact, and that's great. But you have to remember that while the music for these events is important, it's not the number one thing. So it's often good to have your liaison as well as the person who's calling the shots in this meeting so you can ask questions. Well, what types of questions should I ask? Well, that's tip number two. Always ask about appropriateness. And you have to understand, DJs and event organizers speak a different language. You wanna be really, really detailed about this. Clean versions doesn't always mean like clean versions as it does to DJs, right? So sometimes there's clean versions, which means, hey, if, any, if they wanna play a song, as long as there's a clean version, it goes. But a lot of times what these events are really looking for is squeaky clean. And squeaky clean means that even the original version of the song doesn't have dirty words in it. So, for example, um, artists like Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber uh, are pop artists to DJs like us. Those are, you know, clean artists. However, if you listen to the songs, a lot of times there are um, lyrics that are bleeped out. So it's really good to understand, hey, do you want clean versions? Do you want squeaky clean? And then name some artists and songs because a lot of times they'll say, oh yeah, we just want clean versions. But if you name something like Cardi B or Meg Thee Stallion or something up, as long as you have a clean version, uh, you may want to, not want to play this at this, but that's gonna be up to the event organizer. And tip number three has to do with audio. So what I like to do when I have these, I set my volume to 50% and either let them have full control or what I'll do is I'll say, hey, let me have control of the volume, especially if I'm on a headset, and that might be for another vlog, but I'm not on one today. You know, you might wanna have full volume control, set it to 50%, and then you have your entire left side of the dial to play with the volume. If they say, hey, you know, we have player intros, can you bring it down as they say the name? Or, hey, uh, you know, we have interviews going on in the back, can you give it 50%? You have control of that. Or you stay right at 50%, keep your gains exactly where they're supposed to be, and then you can let them turn you up and down. But you wanna make that clear beforehand and then also check it during your sound check once you get here which, I mean, we got a couple bonus tips here. Get there early. These events, again, you are not the focus. So if you're expecting to get in there, do your sound check and, you know, get ready to go, a lot of times you're gonna be waiting for people and things like that because you're a little bit further down the totem pole. Uh, so just be ready for that. Give yourself ample time and be flexible. So that's gonna be it for today's vlog, guys. I gotta get to work. However, I did wanna leave you with the kind of bonus tip slash wrap up, right? So with this, it's very little about reading crowd and DJing and more so about timing and, and doing what you need to do when you need to do it. Whether you're on a headset or whether you're getting hand signals from someone, know what you're getting into ahead of time and then have folders ready, you know, squeaky clean, high energy, intros, instrumentals are huge for stuff like this, especially if they want the squeaky clean version. If you want that hip hop or EDM energy without worrying about playing bad words, oftentimes these songs have instrumentals so that you can go have those go-to songs for when you need them because a lot of times, you know, you're gonna have to be thinking on your feet and calls might come to you in two, three seconds and you have to be ready to go. So have your folders in order and good luck on your next event. DJ Access signing off. Take care, guys.